In this video, we explore the concept of cloud storage. Cloud storage is not a new concept, and it's gaining in popularity, especially due to the ever-increasing fast access times with fibre optic and Wi-Fi through things such as 4G and even 5G. With cloud storage, files are no longer stored locally on a single computing device. Instead, files are stored in what is referred to as the cloud. Now, this is an abstract term, meaning the files are not stored on your local machine, but instead are being hosted remotely and can be accessed over a network. You might create the file locally, as shown here on a PC, but when you save the file, it is effectively uploaded and being stored remotely on a cloud system. The advantage is once you've uploaded your file to the cloud, you can access it from any single device with an internet connection. A great example of this is Facebook. All those photos, all those posts, all the information that you write and store on Facebook isn't actually stored on, say, your mobile phone or tablet. It's stored in the Facebook cloud. You may make a post on Facebook on your phone, but then you can log on to Facebook on a computer, on someone else's device, on a tablet somewhere else, and you'll be able to see the same posts and photos. In a similar way, there are cloud-based working systems for schools and businesses. You may be even familiar with cloud systems such as Dropbox or Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive. It allows you to easily collaborate on files and it also provides a convenient way for backing up files. If your local device becomes damaged or is inaccessible, your files can still be got from the cloud. Of course, there is a major disadvantage here and that you must have a working, active and reliable internet connection to gain access to your files. If you can't, there's no way to get the files or indeed to get the latest version of your files. Now, it's worth pointing out here, although we often say our files and data are stored in the cloud, in reality, they are actually being stored on physical storage media. The cloud is an abstract term and concept. The actual ones and zeros that physically make up all your photos or your data and your files still have to be stored on a permanent secondary storage device. And these will typically be magnetic hard disks or solid state drives, just like you use on a home PC. The difference here is that these storage devices are grouped in huge data farms and data storage warehouses. They have increasingly high capacity, measured in petabytes and even exabytes. So let's just recap what we've learnt. Cloud storage refers to remote servers that store data that can be accessed over the internet. It typically uses magnetic hard drives, although the use of solid state hard drives is increasingly popular as they come down in cost. There are many advantages to using cloud storage. You can access your files anywhere, anytime from any device. There's automatic backup. Files no longer take up any space on your own device, and it becomes easier to collaborate and work on files. The disadvantages is it can be costly. There is typically a monthly or yearly subscription cost for hosting lots of files on a cloud system. And of course, you can have no access to your files without an internet connection. Thank you.